Hey, John Lavinia here. How you doing? It's been a while since I've done a success series video. Uh, actually, since I moved. So, uh, oh, and I got Lucy here with us. We haven't seen Lucy in a while. How you doing, girl? And, uh, and our duck pond grew a little bit. We've got a, I don't know if you can see that down there. I suppose you can. Got a little bit of a bigger duck pond now. A lot bigger, in fact. So, welcome to Utah. Just wanted to talk with you a little bit today about Actually, I was thinking about the, calling this video Why Most People Fail in Home-Based Business, but I thought that was kind of dark. So instead, it's how to become a top two percenter in home-based business. And I was thinking about this because it was on my mind because you've probably heard, as I have, anybody who's been around the home business world for a while, oh, only 2% of the people make it in those kind of deals or whatever. Well, only 2% of people are in the top 2% of any kind of a deal. But the point is, is that since I became a top producer in the, in the home business world, I've endeavored to teach other people how to do it. And I had this idea that I just wanted to share with you about how you could do it pretty easily. So, so here's what it is. Um, for a lot of my life, my younger life, I was surrounded by what I would call victimhood or what some people might call, um, smart, what smart people would call irresponsibility. I was surrounded with a lot of irresponsibility, meaning that I am not responsible for these problems in my life. I am a victim... And I was always looking at to, to blame something. Now, does that sound familiar? Here, we're, right now, we have, let's say right here in America, we've got a lot of people that want to be more successful and make more money and all that. And maybe they're looking at a home business opportunity right now. Maybe you're in one. Maybe you're offering an opportunity, which is probably why you're, you're watching videos like this, is because you want to talk about success in home business, right? So that being said, think about the mass irresponsibility that's happening right now, like right here, right in the United States. Okay, if somebody's going to succeed in capitalism and free enterprise, which is what home business or any business is, they're going to have to be a capitalist or someone who actually believes in free enterprise, self expression, self reliance, personal responsibility, that sort of a thing, right? And yet, we've got so many people right here in the land of opportunity and other places abroad as well, but so many people just so ingrained in a consumer mindset, always looking for what's easy, done for me, right? It's just, it's not a producer mindset, it's a consumer mindset. And it's chronic, okay? And for, for a person to actually become a top two percenter or a top one percenter or one tenth of one percenter or whatever I am right now, what we have to do is we have to throw off irresponsible thinking, victim thinking, consumer thinking. There's a time to be a consumer, but in your business, you got to think like a producer, okay, and actually believe in and, and follow through on the ideas of, of capitalism, right, where you exchange value. You actually become more valuable in the marketplace, which is how you make more money. That's just the law. That's the way it works. Not the law of the land, okay, but the law of, of exchange, right, the, how, how things work. And, and on that note, you know, so many people thinking like socialist kind of entitlement kind of victimhood, um, you know, thinking that's driving people now. There's no chance for people to make it in free enterprise with that kind of a thinking because they're always looking for everything to be done for them. Like they're entitled. And again, they're always chasing that easy button. So um, you got to be a true capitalist to make it in capitalism. And I'm not talking about the, the neocon fascists that call themselves uh, Republicans these days. And I'm certainly obviously not talking about the uh, the, the socialist and the the Marxist uh, people who call themselves Democrats. I'm talking about people that confront the truth. And the truth is, is that I am responsible for my results. You are responsible for your results. And based on that self-evident truth, we, we take action. We, we actually are able to respond. It's called responsibility. We are able to respond to the circumstances in our life like, oh, here's an opportunity to solve a problem. Great. Oh, I'm going to solve that problem then. Okay. Whatever that problem is. Getting leads doing business, you know, creating products, whatever it is you do in your business. There's always problems to solve, but, but stop looking for the easy button and stop expecting to, to be a socialist but succeed like a capitalist. It just, doesn't, it just doesn't exist. I mean, look throughout history. If you want to get into politics, right, socialism has never worked. It's never worked, right? It consumes the state, and then it collapses, and then there's got to be a whole new thing to start up. It can't work. It's a parasite. So... There it is. You want to rise above the 98% who right now are so distracted by, well, everything that causes them to, to reside in a state of indecision, like chronic indecision. I'm not talking about the derelicts of society. 
which is probably half of your prospects anyway. You know, these are people that can't get out of their own way, couldn't make a decision if their life depended on it. I'm talking about the people who still have some ability to think, okay? They're distracted. They're distracted by arguments of, like I just mentioned, you know, is it is, is fascism better than socialism? Of course, we're not going to call it that, okay? That's not politically correct, okay? But the people who can rise above that, the people who can clear their minds of all the distractions and... Uh, and conversations that they have really no, it's not even in their circle of influence. Like, why bother even watching the news? It's just ridiculous. The people who can rise above that take more of a, a cent- centered approach. Like, here's what is. Let's not work with what should be. Let's work with what is. Okay, and let me be responsible for myself. There's no competition for you. There's the punchline for all this. There's no competition to get to the top 2%. Right? It's only 2% of the people that are up there. Once you're up there, the competition is a little more stiff because now you're working with other top producers. Right? But to get there, it's just a decision that you're going to stop looking sideways at everybody or everything else for reasons why or why not or blame or anything besides you as the cause point for your results. As soon as you sign, come on, Lucy, as soon as you assign yourself the responsibility of getting your own results and becoming a top two percenter, boom, you will be. That's, that's what I did. And again, there's really no competition to get there. So um, I hope that uh, you got some value out of this. I am enjoying this day. My goodness. This is awesome. Wish you could be here with me. Well, you are in spirit, I'm sure. But, uh, but look, if you got some value out of this, go ahead and share it. I'd love to hear your comments, especially if you're a top two percenter. And if you are a self-reliant, independent thinking responsible person. Maybe we should work together. Hit me up and I'll show you. I, my goodness, I think I made two grand so far today. We're just killing it over here. So um, that being said, I'll see you next time on another success series video. Thanks for being here and make it a great day. Bye-bye.